Hey, it's Sharon again, and I'm here because of the overwhelmingly, and I do mean overwhelmingly, amount of interest in the character sheets. So uh, for those of you who don't know, the character sheets, and one of the problems most people have been having with Mary is that you're able to develop a cute character or a cute um, a, anything, and you want to be able to duplicate that character to use it throughout your book, your comic book, your movie, whatever your project is, but finding that secret to get it to, um, to be consistent was hard to do. Well, tolling around the internet at you know midnight last night, I found the secret and it's called developing a character sheet. And not only that, um, you can develop the character sheet, but you can have the character show different motions, wearing different clothes, but everyone would be able to see that it is the same character. You can then take that character sheet into Photoshop or even, in, even into Canva and cut out the different um, individual character uh, responses or expressions that you want to go in a specific place in your book. And then you can actually have a consistent character going throughout your book or video or whatever the project is. But anyway, there's a lot to it, and we're going to only go through the very basics of you getting a character sheet. Um, and there will be a part two, a part three, and possibly a part four. But let's just get to the point where we have a character sheet. All right, so we are going to go over to Mid Journey and get started. Um, <clears throat> That was my pencil sketch here. I think I told you guys I was working on a, um, a prompt book for, for guys. Anyway, so let's go. So I'm going to develop a character right now. So um, imagine. Cute little girl. This. And there it is her here. Um, beans and chucks. I'm really on the chucks lately. Jeans and chucks. Um, plain. with her puppy and let me just go back up here um, get my prompt So this one here is going to be on, let's see, I'm going to go with version 5, MJ5. Um, as I point, pointed out before, um, some of the research that I found with some of the other people who had developed the character sheet uh, were using, they thought that 4 worked better for them. But for my character, it worked out better with um, 5. And in the, in the guidebook that comes with this, there is a, um, a link to the definitions of what all of these things mean, V4, Q2, um, you know, so that you can actually determine what it is you want your final product to look like. I don't need to put V5 there because in my settings, I already have V5, but we're going to go with this. And as you know, I have no fast hours, so we're just waiting. But if the waiting becomes too long, I'll cut it out of the tape, out of the video, and uh, you'll just get to the end uh, where we move on to step two. In these guides, I also put um, some 
some links to not just the definitions, but to there are two people that I follow um, that do very good work and they are they're very free to share some of their prompts and some of the tips and tricks that they have found. Um, and that, those are those will be in the guide as well. Um, I think that you'll get a lot of use out of it and it'll. Okay, so let's see what we came up with. Okay, so we have one person, one kid here, kind of got red hair, one African-American kid. And you may notice that when I did the prompt, I did not put um, an ethnicity in there. <laughs> we got this cute kid here and we have her. It looks like she actually has on Timberlands instead of Chucks, but hey, it's close enough. Let's go with, um, she doesn't have a puppy though. Um, she does. Okay, so we're going to go with, um, we're going to go with the first panel. So we're going to click U1 because we want to isolate that. So we're going to upscale that. Okay, and, and there she is. Now, um, that's the first version, and um, we like that, or it's close enough for uh, a demo. So we're going to go back up here and we're going to do V1. And we can do V1 as often as we like. And each time it comes up, it, we should get a variant, a variation on the original. Um, this won't take that long. And we'll do like four. So we will end up with four sheets, five sheets, the original plus four. Well, she's still consistent. She doesn't quite have an expression here. She's a little sad here. Her, uh, it's more pronounced here. Um, she's certainly got some more friends. Two puppies, um, not quite sure. These look like mice because they have tails. Maybe they don't, but anyway, her friends have changed clothes. So that's good and they've changed clothes again. All right, so we're gonna do another V. Let's do it off of this one. Well, she really changed up here. She still looks the same. But as you can see, you can keep going um, so that you can do another variation off of another variation, or you can go back to the original and get a different variation. Um, but what you will end up with is as many character sheets as you want, and you will end up with as many expressions and um, poses of this character as you could possibly need to be able to get your book done. So thank you for your time. I hope that you enjoyed this and that you got something out of it. I'm in the group. You can drop a question and tag me, and I would be more than happy to answer. If I can, explain or go do some research and get an answer for you. Thanks so much. Have a great afternoon. Bye-bye.